Hello guys, welcome back. So in the previous video we saw LZW encoding. Now we'll see the decoding part. So let's start. So here I have the algorithm LZW decoding function. Enter all the source letters to the dictionary. Read prior code word and output one symbol corresponding to it. While code words are still left, read code word. Prior string equals string of prior code word. If code word is in the dictionary, enter in dictionary prior string plus first symbol of string of code word. Else, enter in dictionary prior string plus first symbol of prior string and output prior string plus first symbol of prior string. Then prior code word equals code word. So this is the basic algorithm that you have. So here you have two conditions if and else. So a code word may be in the dictionary or may not be in the dictionary. So here you have two steps. You have to enter in dictionary and you have to output the corresponding string. Okay. So we will see this while solving the problem. So let's start with the problem. So here I have the example. Decode the string 11261379 so this is the output that we got in our encoding process in the previous video okay so we'll decode this and generate the original string so here are the table with two columns decoder and dictionary and two sub columns for each input output index and entry so now this is your initial condition okay these are your initial dictionary contents so you have four unique characters in the string and the corresponding indices are one two three four okay so this will be given to you in the problem so now what you have to do you have to take the input and write it in the input column one by one next take the first input and you have to output the string associated with that index okay so here we have one so what is the string for one a so to output a okay so this is the first input processing so now next take the next input that is one so now you have to check if one is in the dictionary okay one is already in the dictionary so what do you do you have to enter in dictionary prior string plus first symbol of string of code word and output string of code word so you have to enter in dictionary in the entry column the prior string now what is prior string see here we are at this step currently so whatever the string was in the previous step that is your prior string okay so we are in this step now which is the previous step this one which is the string in the output column a so this is our prior string okay the previous string okay so we have prior string a so write that a in the entry column plus you have to write the first symbol of string of code word so what is the code word here our current input okay so now what is the string corresponding to code word one we have a what is the first symbol a only because we have only one character so write that a here okay so the prior string plus first symbol of string of code word so here we have a so we get a a okay next increment the index and in the output you have to write the string of code word what is the code word one what is the string for one a okay you have to refer the dictionary okay for writing the string so you get a here okay so now take the next input that is 2 so you check if 2 is in the dictionary so here we have 2 in the dictionary so what you do enter in dictionary prior string plus first symbol of string of code word so what is your prior string now the previous string that is a so enter in dictionary a plus first symbol of string of code word what is the code word 2 what is the string b what is the first symbol b only so add that b here so you get a b so now increment index and in the output you have to write 
string of code word what is the code word 2 what is the string b so the output b okay so now take the next input that is 6 check if 6 is in the dictionary we have a 6 in the dictionary so what you do write in the dictionary prior string that is the previous string plus first symbol of string of code word so what is the code word 6 what is the string a b what is the first symbol a so we add that a here so this b you get here and this a so you get b a increment the index and in the output we have to write the string of code word so here string of code word so what is the code word 6 what is the string a b so we output a b here ok so please follow this order first you have to check if it is in the dictionary or not then you have to enter in dictionary then increment the index and then the output ok so next we have a 1 check if 1 is in the dictionary we have a 1 in the dictionary so enter in dictionary prior string we have a b the previous string and first symbol of string of code word what is the code word 1 what is the string a what is the first symbol a only so add that a here so you get a b a increment the index in the output write the string of code word so what is the string of code word a so you get a next you have a 3 check if 3 is in the dictionary we have a 3 in the dictionary so enter in dictionary prior string that is a and first symbol of string of code word what is the code word 3 what is the string c what is the first letter c only so you add that c here you get a and this c a c increment the index and output the code word of sorry the text of code word that is c so you get c here next you have a 7 7 is already in the dictionary so what you do uh, enter in dictionary prior string that is c plus first symbol of string of 7 so string of 7 is ba first symbol is b so you get b here so this c and this b ok so you get cb increment the index and output string of code word so string of 7 is ba so you get b next you have a 9 check if 9 is in the dictionary we have a 9 in the dictionary so enter in dictionary press string that is ba and first symbol of string of 9 string of 9 is ac first symbol is a so you get ba a increment the index and output code word of string of 9 so what is the string of 9 ac so you output ac next you have 11 now 11 is already in the dictionary so enter in dictionary prior string that is ac the previous string and the first symbol of the string of code word so string of code word is ba first symbol is b so you get b here so this ac and this b ac b increment the index output the string of 11 so string of 11 is ba so you get ba a next you have 4 4 is already in the dictionary so enter in dictionary prior string that is ba a and first symbol of 4 first symbol of 4 is d so you add d here so you get ba a d increment the index and output string of code 1 that is d so you output d next you have 5 now 5 is already in the dictionary so enter in dictionary prior string that is d and first symbol of code word 5 so what is the first symbol a so you add a here so you get this d and this a so you get d a increment the index and output string of 5 what is string of 5 a a so you output a a here ok so now your input is fully processed and this is the output that you get so you get a b a b a c b a a c b a a d a a ok so this is the final string that you get ok so now if you remember this is not the exact string that we used as an input to the encoding process ok there we had three a's here here we have only two ok but this answer is correct ok the source from where I referred this they have shown it like this only ok so 
the output is correct okay it's not incorrect okay so this is the output that you get so you have to follow the procedure this one remember the two conditions if and else and follow these steps okay so in this problem we have not encountered this else part okay else part is similar to the if part okay so what what you do in the else part you enter in dictionary prior string that is the previous string and first symbol of the previous string okay so for example suppose this is your prior string so you enter a b and first symbol of prior string that is a so you get a b a okay and you output the same thing okay this and this are same okay if you notice so this is about the else part okay and this output is correct okay it's not incorrect so again the steps this is your initial condition then you have to take the first input and write the string corresponding to it then you have to take the next input check if it is in the dictionary or not if it is in the dictionary what you do enter in dictionary prior string plus first symbol of string of code word and you output the string of code word and if it is not in the dictionary what you do you enter in dictionary prior string plus first symbol of prior string and you output the same thing so whatever you will get here you will get in the output column okay so these are the two conditions that you have to remember okay and so this is your output so i hope it was clear to you if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section okay so thank you for watching keep learning